welcome to my channel or my page wherever this video is going to i don't know yet it's always the first time seeing this morning mm -hmm. look you're welcome forget the morning look yeah please i want to quickly drop this women you don't treat him man with divorce even me when some issue get to me i will leave him i will pack out it's irritating if you don't mean it don't say it because you are so an evil seed a negative seed singing that song that the devil will my put stamp later and may get fed up they might even be the one to just walk away even before you make up your mind don't threaten with divorce don't threaten with separation don't threaten of leaving a man if you don't mean it it is not good you might think that man love you you might think he cannot do without you please even if there is trouble it's not the first song to be singing okay you might sometimes we women look at the mirror and say after two after one after three we say look like hmm, sangele we are still good to go because there are some men out there see even when you are pushing baby truck they are still telling you how are you how many tell you minus one is minus two minus two is minus two minus three is minus three you are not a mother you are not a mother like you don't come off for market if you pull out for anybody, eh? <laughs> that is why you're still feeling yes. If I go there, you you see a better man. Let me tell. Of course, you will see a better man. Let me know which you evil. But let me tell you, have this mindset that I will make my marriage work. Men, have the mindset I will make my marriage work. If you have that mindset, you put in your best. This putting him or her best, the cities will be better. Stop! 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 stop now let me tell you for you that the shoe of marriage is itching what have you done if you must leave a man make sure in all angle you are trying your best physically and spiritually what do i mean have you called your husband and said please let's start over again no matter what has happened to this point i think let's start all over again just the way we do it 10 years ago have you done that? Have you waking up in the midnight and say, honey, I don't like what is happening. What can we do? Have you invited friends? Have you taken to family and say, family, please, it's getting out of hand. Please come and help us. And the one that is very important, have you asked questions of background of your husband or background of your wife? What the ancestors, all the 32, that they are hmm, coming from? To know what has happened already and uh, know how to start your spiritual warfare battle have you done that suppose to know anything that is happening in marriage 80 percent of it come from spiritually you do your best let that if you are to stand in front of somebody they will ask you what have you done what level have you worked to make this marriage work as a woman? I do this, I do this, I do this, do this, do this. I cry, I jump, I beg. People will say, at this point, you have done your best. Even God himself will know that you have done your best. You have exercised patience, you have prayed, you have done your best. You understand? So if it's not working, I don't advise. Even God in heaven don't advise you to stay a toxic marriage because if you are a believer, for you to stay horrible marriage, heaven is not even for you. Because it's not snatching. Or those that say that she did not make heaven. Let me tell you, even though everything was correct, a word that very moment, that she might release one word that very moment because of the anger. When problem or when, when problem happen, if you just slump like that and die, that is what the devil will use to accuse and get of judgment. So Living in a toxic marriage, even as a Christian believer, it makes the, the way more narrow and thinner for you to make heaven. Because we are human. We are not spiritual. God was a spirit in human, but we are human. We have it. We get fed up. But we vomit it sometimes. Even God don't want you to be having restless heart in the name of marriage. God is not a God wish for you. So if it's not working, if it's not working, you can take that separation step 
if we're to come together, no problem. If you see nothing, they see walking, ask some mice and walk out from there. Please, when I get to hear some issue of marriage, I will leave him. I will leave him. Even if I will say, Ati, please, can you please in a moment shut up your mouth? I will go. I will go to my father's house. I will go to my auntie's house. I will go to my uncle. I will go to my brother's house. Like, seriously. But you fail for those sons. Tell and say, yes, for better, for worse. You want to stay with him. But any small thing now, you are just threatening. And it doesn't sound good. It make me fed up. It, it get them ready even before it actually happen. Sometimes they will be the one to even walk away before you made up your mind. Please, stop treating men with divorce. It's not the only way out when there's a problem. And when the man really want, when the woman really want to divorce her, they know they even they sink. And you have to know that yes, they are put on their base. It's not working. They keep silent. It come like a surprise. Today, they all like a shock. Please, I'm just yeah. It is well. Bye for now.